In the 2016-2017 school year, students in the Natural Resources Management Technology Program at University College of the North completed a project on Chocolate Lake in West Central Manitoba. The project was part of the Fall Field Practicum and Environmental Assessment courses. Initiated by inquiries from local stakeholders, this project brought together the resources of the NRMT program and the Manitoba government. The goals of the project were to complete an aquatic assessment of Chocolate Lake, including documenting current fish populations and potentially complete enhancements to the lake to allow for the introduction of brown trout. The project had seven main components. First component, index netting. The NRMT students assisted Sustainable Developments Fisheries Branch with their index netting protocol by processing samples and recording data, including species, length, weight, and visible diseases. Further work included determining ages of northern pike and stomach content analysis. The netting provided information about what fish species were present in the lake, their physical condition, and their potential impact on brown trout. Second component, live trapping fish. Using trap nets purchased through the Manitoba Fish and Wildlife Enhancement Fund, the NRMT students inventoried fish in Chocolate Lake. For this component, we were very pleased to have assistance from a recent graduate who uses this equipment in her career. Our intention as part of this trap netting component was to live transfer northern pike to another lake to help reduce the population of this potential predator of young brown trout. However, black spot disease was detected in the northern pike, so we were unable to transfer them to another lake. Fish species were also sampled using smaller minnow traps and seine netting. Third component, bathymetric survey. NRMT students completed a bathymetric survey with accommodation depth finder slash GPS unit. This allowed students to create an accurate map of the lake's depth and bottom structure. Fourth component, aquatic vegetation survey. NRMT students identified and documented aquatic vegetation in the lake. This helped determine the type and extent of cover available, as well as the food sources for aquatic animals. Fifth component, Aquatic Organism Survey. NRMT students sampled aquatic organisms in the lake using various equipment. Information collected helped to determine current fish food availability, which was compared to a similar study completed by students in 2009. Sixth component, Limnological Survey. NRMT students performed water quality tests to determine if the lake is suitable for brown trout. This included the placement of dissolved oxygen data loggers, which tracked the lake's oxygen levels during the winter. This equipment was purchased through a grant from the Manitoba Fish and Wildlife Enhancement Fund. Seventh component, analysis, writing, and presenting. NRMT students compiled and analyzed their data to produce an environmental assessment of the lake and presented that report to government personnel and interested stakeholders. Sustainable Development now has the data to make informed decisions regarding management of Chocolate Lake. In the end, the first goal of the project, which was to complete an aquatic assessment of Chocolate Lake, including documenting the current fish population, was accomplished. The second goal, which involved enhancements to the lake, proved to be unattainable because of a disease condition in the northern pike. Beyond these goals, the project produced other significant benefits, including a successful collaboration between the NRMT program and the Manitoba government, the NRMT program providing answers to questions put forth by the community, and the NRMT students being exposed to real-world learning experiences that they can take with them into their careers. The NRMT program would like to thank and acknowledge assistance from members of Sustainable Development, local stakeholders, the Manitoba Fish and Wildlife Enhancement Fund, and recent graduate Megan Patterson.